Namaskar. Today we will discuss the research and publication ethics, module 6a. It is on databases. So all of you know that what is a databases. So the structure of this program of this databases is so what is objectives, the interaction, indexing databases, citation databases of web of science, Corpus, then Google Scholar, summary. Questions and syllabus assessment and references bibliography, which is available in the course material. So, databases all of you know that an index is a guide to the items contained in all concepts derived from the collection. An item denotes any book, article, report, abstract reviews, etc. Textbook, part of a collection and passage in a book or article in a journal etc. The word index has its origin in the Latin and means to point out, to guide, to direct, to locate. An index indicates or refers to the location of an object or idea. So the word index comes from the Latin then means according to the hard part, according to hard part and um, 2017, uh, there's one who points out uh, disclosure, discovery, discovered, and informer, foreigner, a uh, forefinger because used in the printing and pointer sign the inscriptions list. Knight. Knight wrote that the Latin words had the meaning of he who or that which points the way. So Oxford English Dictionary, the following senses of among the others are given. Sense B, for B, the sign, token or induct indication of something. Sense 5B, the, an alphabetical list placed usually at the end of the book of the names of subjects etc. occurring in it with indications of the pieces of which they occur. And the sense B, Computing a set of items, each of which specifies one of the records of a file and contains information about the address. So, therefore, the following definition here is suggested. An index is a kind of target document which has the function of providing access to information in or about some sources of documents or providing access to the providing symbiosis of the documents. So unit of indexing is a, you know that objective in the definition, say in a library of index, uh, that means the United States index says that the ISO standards and it defines the indexing as the act of describing or identifying documents in terms of subject content. So, the, while in these cases, or best of the manual indexing, other definition may cover both manual and automatic indexing. So, indexing and index and indexing. So, index and indexing can be defined reportedly. Uh, the indexing is the process of producing an index and index is the product. So, we have to understand this, which is a process and what is a product. The process can be done by humans by computer programs which are made by humans and therefore also refers to the human subjectivity so or by the combination to provide impression of greater variation of indexing processes section 2 provides a systematic overview of kind of indexes indexing after going through this what is the objective of this module is that to know regarding different indexing techniques of information storage and retrieval, to locate problems of indexing, to identify indexing policies and procedures, to categorize and provide details including subject terms, 
about journal articles and other items. To discern how to describe a document and give citation details and other information according to the set rules specified for the databases. So to educate and to elicit the sufficiently the content of a document in a written summary called an abstract procedure of a databases record for an item providing online access to a body of a literature. To know the types of different indexing and then to be familiar with the subject gateways to make out the websites and metadata indexing. So these are the objectives we have found. Introduction. The function of indexing in the libraries and information centers retrieval systems is to indicate the whereabouts or absence of items relevant to a request. It is essentially a time-saving mechanism. Theoretically, we can always find the relevant items by an exhaustive search through the whole collection, assuming that we can program what is relevant when we see. Since this is a economically impossible, the size and store to be examined is reduced by classification. Using this term in the very broadest sense, that is as the recognition of usual similarities between documents and the establishment of useful document groups based on these similarities. So types of indexing if you are studying bibliographical and database indexing, gene genealogical indexing, geographical indexing, book indexing, legal indexing, periodical and newspaper indexing, pictorial indexing, subject gateways, websites and metadata indexing. So these are the indexing types of indexing we see. The bibliographical and databases indexing. A database, bibliographical database indexes provides records for the items such as journal articles. The database then provides online access to a body of journals, articles and the, and the literature or medical or journal articles. Citation and subject details are described according to the set of rules specifically to that of databases. A databases indexer is a identify and provide details including the subject terms about a journal article and other items usually within a broad subject area and which may include the use of the thesaurus Describe the document and give citation details and other information according to a set of rules specified for the databases. Explain succinctly of the contents of a document in a written summary called an abstract. Produce a database record for an item providing online access to a body of literature. So, genealogical indexing. Genealogical indexing allows users to look up pupils' names, personal and family, family relationships. And geo geographical indexing is a geographical indexes create indexes to the maps and the atlases and other genealogical, other, other cartographic materials or geographical materials indexes may include places, names, topics, historical details mathematical qualities and the scale on grade and coordinates and artistic features. So these are the index. The book indexing. Book index creates indexes that provide access to the detailed content of books. Back to back indexes are made for all types of non-fiction books including the textbooks, multi-volume works, technical reports and annual reports. What is the legal indexing? Legal indexing provide indexing of legal materials by form of a content. So, by form of a content. So, periodical and newspaper indexing. Periodical and newspaper indexes gives access to the contents of individual articles and other items in artificial publications. So, pictorial indexing indexes to the images help and identify the subject gateways. Indexes are also involved in a new form of electronic indexes, indexing one growing areas 
need indexing on online information. And what is website and metadata indexing? Despite the proliferation of automated search engine, there are a number of ways in which human indexers are needed to enhance the access to information in world worldwide wave. So, figure one, if you see that's indexing of the catalog or classification systems, and then you find the verbal indexing languages, then one side is emulative systems, facilitate features systems, control systems, free text systems, procedural systems, and protocol definitive systems. That you can see this is a traditional view of kind of indexing languages after Hartman's in 2012. You can see these images in the in your this references. I've given the reference of this. So, what is the indexing processes and principles? Early indexes were limited to the personal names and the occurrences of words in the text indexed rather than topical subject or the concept of the indexes. Then topical indexes are found at the beginning of the 18th century in the 19th century subject matters access to book was by means of a classification. So indexing techniques actually originated from these indexes it was two types specific index and relative index. Specific index which shows a broad topic on the form of a indexes one of the idea from entirely and specific context and specific idea. And what is the relative index which shows various aspects of an index and a relationship with other ideas. So this is a relationship kinds of index. And what is the purpose of indexing? Indexing is regarding as a process of describing and identifying documents in terms of their subject contents. So a number of problem of indexing, a number of prominent problems of issues associated with the indexing and which enable below the complexities in the subject of documents usually multi-word concepts. Multi-dimensional users for need for information then choice of terms from several symptoms, uh, synonyms, uh, choice of words from singular and plural form, distinguish biographies, homographs, identifying term relationship, synthetic and semantic, depth of indexing, levels of generally specific representation, ensuring the consistency in indexing terms, intervention, and then also types of users to types, and the kind of vocabulary to be used, and systematic other rules necessary representation and problem how to use the index and assignment idea data. So different indexing policy are also there. Then there are the different indexing processes. What are the indexing processes? Before indexing, the indexer should first take a look at the entire collection of the and make the series of the decisions like does the collection content any categories of materials that should not be indexed? Does the material require general popular vocabulary in the index? What is the nature of the collection? What is the characteristics of the user populations? The physical environment in which the systems will function and the display of a physical appearance and the index. So, so indexing language. Indexing language is the most important part of the speech. What is the indexing language? And indexing language is an artificial language consisting of a set of terms and devices for handling the relationship between them providing index description. It also referred to as a retrieval language. Theory of indexing, the lack of indexing theory to explain the indexing process is a major behind spot in information retrieval. Very little seems to have been written about the value of theory of indexing. It is possible that, that to what extent the document is about a particular concept. Mayer mentions any concepts of the document does not make it the index. So is there enough information about the concept of the documents and index? So these are the indexing criteria. This is always a matter of a judgment. An indexer may disagree with one another about what continues constitutes enough information. 
Another way of testing an indexability of a concept would be for the indexer to ask himself would a user searching for information on this concept of happy be happy if live documents and hand is retrieved and is there a likelihood that the concept requiring such queries? So exhaustivity is the matter of an indexing policy and it is the measure of the it is it, it, it is it is the measure of this quality and the extent which all the distinct subjects are discussed in a particular document are recognized of indexing operation and transfer into a language systems. So this quality of control in indexing. Now, what is the exhaustivity of sensitivity? Is that quality of indexing is defined in terms of retrieval or effectiveness. The ability to retrieve and what is wanted and to avoid that qualification of the indexers and the quantity of the indexing of this quantity of the indexing. So, uh, quantity of index. So, I should stop here and tell you that this is the indexing criteria of this index. Thank you.